hope you like cabbage because we're going to do four different kinds. See you in a few minutes. Thirty-one days. Thirty-one days. We've been growing these um, these uh, cabbages from seed out in the uh, in the grow rack, and um, today it's time to plant some of them and, and also move some of them over to the uh, hardening table. So I wanted to show you the status of the, uh, the seedlings to show you how much they progressed. If you come up close, you can take a look right here. These are the green ox hearts. You see how they've got the new true leaves coming out and they're getting some stem strength. They're starting to grow a little better. What I'm going to do with these, I'm going to transfer these over to the hardening table and let them stay out on the hardening table for about a week and um, then I'll be ready to plant those in the um, earth garden. Here's our purple heart, uh, purple ox heart cabbage. As you can see, it's getting some true leaves as well. It just needs about a week on the table, the hardening table. Here's our regular cabbage. It's it's getting there. It needs some time out on the table to um, to get some more direct sun. So it'll be ready to go probably in about another week. Here's our Napa cabbage. As you can see, the Napa cabbage is ready to go. It's It's got plenty of um, true leaves and it's got the strong stems on it. Plenty of beautiful true leaves that are nice and white and really capturing that su sunlight for their photosynthesis. So it's it's ready for the earth garden. They big boys now. So they, these right here, I'm gonna put in a couple of rows of um, Napa cabbage and Nancy will come back later and she'll do um, some make herself some kimchi and she'll do a movie on that on her uh, her Asian redneck fusion playlist to show you kimchi lovers how she makes it I can eat some of it but I'm kind of tender and I can't eat that real hot stuff so I don't usually eat the, the spicy hot cabbage so she makes some that's toned down for me so because I'm her baby <laughs> <laughs> yep so anyway today I'm gonna get to work out in the garden I'm gonna put a couple of the, this, these trays in and um, there's no sense in uh, walking through that process out there uh, if you'll take a look at our video it's it's called uh, planting how to plant fall vegetables it shows you the process of how I plant um, in the garden using the fish as fertilizer the lime the spacing every it's just a step by step of how to uh, use um, a fish as a fertilizer and how I actually plant my uh, fall vegetables using uh, plants that come out of starter cups like this and this year we grew them all from seed we didn't have to buy anything from the nursery at all so except for the seed which we ordered from uh, Baker Creek which is an excellent seed supplier got some really cool looking seeds there and good seeds so I, I recommend them but this right here is um, ready to go and uh, we'll be back in a week or so and we'll show you the progress of all the cabbages as as they go out into the garden and how they start to progress all the way up until we chop them off and eat them the best part so we'll see you in a couple weeks okay. well I got all the cabbages all four varieties are, are installed and planted out in the earth garden and uh, that they've been in the ground for six days Unfortunately, two days ago, a tropical storm, Hermine, Hermine, 
came through here in just 50 mile an hour winds and sideways rain and it, it took out a couple of them but uh, we still have enough left where we'll be able to enjoy some cabbages you know in the days ahead but as long as we don't get another hurricane but anyway here's how they look the first row is um, just the plain um, the plain cabbage that you're used to seeing in the store you can see the, the first one right down here you see how it's been destroyed by heavy rains and wind but um, if you look down the road there's a couple of more down there that didn't quite get through it but that's the first row of this, the plain cabbage the second one here is the green ox heart cabbage you can see them right here um, again there's another couple of them on the row that just got destroyed from the storm but they're still good we, we'll get plenty to eat and I got a couple in the containers over there so we'll, we'll get our share and this third row right here this is the purple ox heart cabbage this is a, a real good cabbage it looked like it pretty much survived the storm pretty good there's a one or two on there that a little a little puny beat up a little bit but we're good and we'll walk down here to the end and I'll show you the Napa cabbage these are two rows of Napa cabbage this is the cabbage that Nancy's going to make kimchi out of so this is really a beautiful plant I like the color and the way the, the leaves are nice and full uh, we had a little bit of damage from the uh, storm but overall they survived quite well I think they were blocked by the flowers in that barn down there at the end on that northeast wind they, they didn't get quite as much of a beating as the other cabbages but we're real happy about them so we'll be back here in a couple of weeks ahead and um, we'll give you another update here shortly and show you the progression of these all four varieties of cabbage see you see you later okay the cabbage have been uh, transplanted out here for five and a half weeks in the earth garden and I'll give you a little view of what they look like now this first row right here this is our uh, our green head and cabbage in the next row over you can look all the way down if you want I'm sorry if um, the next row over is the green ox heart cabbage and then this third row over here that's the purple heart uh, purple ox heart cabbage and we've had to do um, a little battle with uh, cabbage worms so I've been out here picking and picking and picking trying to keep them off but uh, the little white butterflies have been full full force on me so if we'll walk down here to the end I'll show you the Napa cabbage and um, a couple of our container grown cabbages okay here's the uh, Napa cabbage we got two rows of it if you can take a look down the row uh, take a look down the row <laughs> that's the uh, the two rows that we got going they're getting pretty close to harvest so Nancy will be coming out here to get that to make up some kimchi and it won't be long now this is our container uh, cabbage we have over here on where the old potato rack was uh, we're using it for uh, some some cabbage container cabbage in the winter these are all red cabbage down this row they're off and running so we'll be coming back and checking on them in a week or two as well all right it's been six weeks since we planted our cabbage in the earth garden I wanted to give you an update this first row right here is, is the green uh, the green head and cabbage and the one right next to it is the green ox heart you can see it's starting to form the, the, the core up and this last row here this is the purple ox heart cabbage you can see it's starting to turn really beautiful purple Uh, the Napa cabbage been going six weeks and we're gonna we're already starting to harvest that out today so I um, wanted to take you this last view of it down here you can see that it's really gotten pretty big and mature and you can see down there at the end where we've already started whacking some of it out of there so we're gonna get all that today and Nancy's gonna make some delicious kimchi for us all right we'll see you back in a few weeks
Hurricane Matthew was pretty rough on the garden. It took out just about all the cabbage, but the Lord spared some of them for us, and we're thankful for Him for giving us a few that we got, and I'm sure they'll be really tasty. And today I wanted to take out one of these purple ox heart cabbages. They're such a beautiful heirloom cabbage. So let me show you what they look like. We'll take it over to the processing table. We'll clean it up a little bit and I want to show you what these look like up close. See you over there. What a beautiful cabbage that is. It's shaped like an ox heart. And at the inside of it, let me show you what they look like. What me and Nancy do is I'll simply put these in the pot and I'll boil these. And one's for her, one's for me. That's a, two, that's a whole meal for just me and her. And it's such a beautiful cabbage. Very, very tasty. But we'll be back in a couple of weeks and we'll harvest another one of the cabbages that survived the storm. So we'll see you back soon. Okay, today I want to uh, harvest a green ox heart cabbage which is my favorite one and I'm going to get one of our storage cabbages too and we'll have that for lunch so let me show you what they look like here's the plant itself it's here's the here's the cabbage so I want to come down behind it shaped like an ox heart that's that's really a good cabbage my favorite one ox heart cabbage let me get a storage cabbage and I'll take that with me we'll have it for lunch too so We had a rough year this year with the hurricane. Hurricane Matthew came through. Really had it was really rough on the uh, on the cabbage, but uh, the Lord did bless us with plenty to eat. So we're very grateful and thankful for that. So until I see you next time, if you enjoy our movies, and our videos, please subscribe to our channel, and also you can follow us on Facebook. Call us at Nancy's Homestead. So until we see you next time, always remember, by hands, hands, we, we are, are fed. fed. Give, Give us, Lord, Lord our, our daily, daily bread. bread. Amen. Amen. Thanks for watching our videos. We really love making them. If you like our videos, please like our Facebook page to get the latest tips and tricks. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel to get the newest video. Like it, it would really inspire and encourage us. But most importantly, share it to encourage others. We'll welcome your comments and questions. Thank you. Have a blessed day.